Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about 20 of my favorite places that I've been. And they're not ranked in any particular order, so everywhere I've been has been awesome. Some of these are just photos and video from my phone. And I hope you enjoy it. Got a little dark out there. I wanted to shoot the video from the Jeep, but got a little dark out there. But anyway, on to the first one. Colorado, the whole state. I gave it its own uh, section in this video because anywhere in Colorado is, uh, is a great place to visit. The whole state's different. The landscape changes all over. You, you get a little bit of everything. You get some desert, you get a lot of mountain. If you're into the cannabis thing, the 420, then Colorado is definitely for you because it's legal. And uh, there's stores everywhere where you can buy it. That's not really my thing. Not my thing, I gotta go ahead and tell you. The camping, oh, it's great. Colorado has its own smell. It's great waking up in the morning, looking outside of your tent at some of the mountain views. The mountain views, the view from the windshield. There's a few ghost towns in Colorado you can visit. I actually went up to St. Elmo Ghost Town. Beautiful mountain lakes. If you're a photographer, it'll be hard for you to put your camera down. Around every turn, there's a beautiful view that you just, you're amazed by. Abundance of hot springs. I actually took my truck into Yankee Boy Basin, and this is the entrance to Imogene Pass, Yankee Boy Basin, and a couple other of the famous passes and uh, off-road trails. Off-roading, back roads, back country. So you have Denver. Uh, me and my friend Sam uh, and Tommy, we went to a Denver Broncos game and uh, had a great time. We went to a Rockies baseball game. Watch. The best thing I can advise is go to Colorado yourself and see it. All right, number two of one of my favorite places to visit, Nemo Train Tunnel. In Morgan County, Tennessee, and I've actually been here numerous times, so many times. It's not far from where I live, and I love to go up there and go through the tunnel. Unfortunately, due to an accident, the tunnel is closed because it's on Norfolk Southern Railroad property and they have closed the tunnel. They used to not mind people driving through it, but since the folks were uh, irresponsible, now nobody can go through it. You know, it's a fun little area to test out your four wheel drive and nothing too technical. One of my favorite places to go just for a little day out. Now this part coming up, 
the clearing that you're looking at. A man pulled his truck for some reason up onto the track, which is uh, an active track, and he got knocked down into the water below. But there's a trail on the side of the tunnel that's fun. There's a trail that you can uh, go back to a railroad bridge. You know, there's still plenty to do besides go through the tunnel. But the railroad uh, has their own police department and you're considered trespassing on their property. And uh, they will prosecute. They don't play around. It's still a fun place to visit. Maybe on your way to Big South Fork, which is also in this video, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. I went, I visited there in the winter time when there was ice. Uh, there was some uh, ice coming off the uh, bluffs and a little bit of ice on the trail. So that made it quite interesting. Also have to mention in this video I'm celebrating a milestone for the channel we've reached over a hundred thousand views which I know that don't seem like much compared but for a small channel that's pretty good yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so thank you very much for getting me to a hundred thousand views and all right on to the next place Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado cliff dwellings to explore, a lot of hiking. I took one of the longer hikes. Beautiful views. You're hiking actually on a ledge for part of it. Some of it's a little bit scary. You know, one, one slip and you're over the edge. Some petroglyphs, which uh, indicate that UFOs have landed here. Mesa Verde is an interesting place and I definitely recommend it if you go to Colorado. It's in the southwestern corner of Colorado and uh, I think you'd like it. All right, number four on the list. Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania. I was actually working in Pennsylvania when I took this trip, and this is probably one of the first solo trips I ever took, which basically got me hooked on solo travel. We go to the Kinzua Skywalk, which is this uh, old railroad bridge that has been destroyed by a tornado. A lot of historical structures there. Pennsylvania has a lot of mountains. Uh, they're not tall mountains, but they have a lot of mountains. And I think a lot of people don't realize how much backcountry is in Pennsylvania. I did cross over onto the New York, uh, across the New York state line, drove a couple of miles into New York. So I've been to New York. We can mark that off the list and I don't need to go back. 
It's a photographer's dream. A lot of forest roads to uh, explore. But the second night I stayed in a cabin at the KOA. Sometimes you gotta stay in a cabin. You know, you can't just camp all the time. And Pennsylvania is cool. There's a lot of history up there. A lot of good food in Pennsylvania too. Definitely recommend a trip to Pennsylvania. Number five. Wings Over America Air and Space Museum in Denver, Colorado. And this place was so cool. Some of the Star Wars full-size replicas. It was, just, it was cool to see those in uh, real life. But if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, it's definitely a must-see. I'm sure if you got kids, they'd love it. And some of these planes are so big you wonder how they even get them in the air. And some of them are so small, you wonder how they get them in the air. And if you're into aeronautics and uh, airplanes and things like that, you gotta go.